I'm here with Ozzy. Hello. Ozzy, and what do you do? Oh, I make educational electronic toys. They're called Ozzy toys. Very cool. And could you tell us a little bit more about those Ozzy toys? They're educational electronic toys that teach you about hardware, discrete components. So each toy teaches you how to build a specific circuit. On the face of the toy is a diagram and letters and numbers. Example, you have R, which stands for a resistor. C, depending on the context, it could stand for the collector of a transistor or it could stand for a capacitor. But if I'm dealing with a polarized capacitor, then you'll have a C plus and then a C negative and that's the idea. There's a construction video that you access via a QR code that comes with each respective toy. The idea is to learn by doing and having this kinesthetic tactile experience. So your main market is just anybody in general that wants to learn electronics. Would you ever look into maybe doing something where Arduino could be incorporated where people can sort of learn something, maybe something small like a Arduino or something like that? I'd be potentially interested in that in the future. But what I'm most interested in is electronics, understanding how circuits work. How does a resistor and capacitor work when you put it in series? Or how does just an LED work with a resistor? Or how does a transistor work in saturation versus activation? Would it's you be adding stuff like, for example, a relay or the older crowd that would like an update to the toy or a second level, if you will? Perhaps, yeah. I'm right now thinking about two people in terms of a demographic. I'm thinking about the lay person who knows nothing about these things and who just like, oh, this is an interesting object and it deals with electronics and I could do this because I could just follow a construction video or an instruction video. And then I'm also thinking about educators, even at the college level, because this began as a thesis project for me last year. And I actually did an independent study with the School of Electrical Engineering where I was at. The head of the program there really took a liking to these. So I was able to even show these off within the context of a classroom. And he was like, yeah, these could work in the context of an ECE curriculum. Because I'm also seeing this thing because I'd never been involved with engineers before. But what I found interesting is that math is super important to what an electrical engineer does, but electronics or electrical engineering has so much to do with physical hardware and actual tactile experience of messing with components. And I think that's getting lost. I studied electronics, so I'm with you. We're getting nerdy here. Do like the idea. It seems like a really great entry level for like, if I wanted to, to let my cousin, my little cousin learn electronics, this gives him the chance to not ruin my electronics. For someone like your cousin, Ozzy Toy One just teaches you about a resistor and LED in series, and it would come with a 680 ohm resistor, a 10,000, and then a 100,000 ohm resistor. So the whole idea is your cousin could be like, this is what a resistor does. It's I would nice. love to see a potentiometer in there as yeah, well, there's... so that they could see how it dims and how a dimmer actually works. Yeah. Where can they find you? You can find me right now on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. On Instagram, I'm Ozzy Toys, O-Z-I-T-O-Y-S underscore. And then TikTok, same, yeah. And YouTube as well. And I'm going to be launching a GoFundMe very soon. Ozzy Toys, check them out. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.